Hey folks, you're watching Fishing with Gary today. High barometer, high pressure, and a, a way you can catch fish. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I just checked the barometer and it is going up. You know, I got this little barometer in the boat and it's climbing. I set it for earlier this morning and it's going up every hour it goes up. So it changes every hour. The, uh, we've tried a number of different things. We've tried spinner baits, crank baits, top water, um, Texas rig, drop shot. And the one thing that I can tell you that works when there's a rising bomber, flick shake. So let me reel in. Oh, shot. Oh. oh, boy. That almost felt like, oh, shit. I did have a fish on. I thought I was stuck in the tree, but this is, I'm going to show you the flick shake and what I'm doing. This guy just happened to be under the boat. So this is what I'm using, folks, today. When it gets tough fishing, and I'm going to come up and show this to you. When the fishing gets really tough, this little bait here does good. So you can see that it has a little weight on here, a little hook. So let me show you a little trick. And I, and I always preach this in my films, this uh, dip it, spike it. Uh, if you're not getting bit, put a little bit of that on the tail. You'll be surprised. You don't have to put much. Don't put a whole lot on there, but just put a little bit on there. You'll be surprised, you know, that, that just that tiny bit, uh, the water's kind of, it rained the last week a lot up here, and the water's kind of dirty, but I like it that way. So what this does is this bait's just going to go down and sink like this, and I'm going to stay kind of close because um, I've got an open hook on this, let me turn the boat here. So I want to stay kind of close just in case I uh, get stuck. I can go over and get this out. So I'm just doing underhand pitching, just, just out in the open here. I'm not fishing way up in there. Um, I could rig this weedless, and we might do that just a little bit later, just to throw it way up in the trees. There's a bite. Oh, missed him. So um, I don't know. I don't know how you can miss a fish when the hook's open like that, but you know, these are small fish and, and they're just all over up here. And we'll just keep on going. Maybe we'll get a better one, but we weren't catching any fish. The fish stopped. It's, it's, it's 10 minutes to 10, you know, and we got that high pressure and it just keeps going up. The hotter it gets, the higher it's going. So at least, at least you could do something. If you haven't tried this rig, you need to. You need to try it because you might be not catching any fish at all and then all of a sudden you know you could start catching bass and granted we're into a bunch of little tiny babies but you could see with that uh whoops he made a little bit wider hole here on the worm so i'm just going to re rehook it just like you do on a you know you bite off the end of the worm this is in the middle but you could just keep reusing this thing little weight Little weed guard, and sometimes I use weed guards and sometimes I don't, but I'm just uh, staying out here. I'm gonna start moving out just a little bit further off this flat. This is, but we weren't catching, and the idea is we weren't catching any fish at all. And now, you know, all of a sudden we're catching them. The reason is, there's a reason behind this folks. And the reason is, is because the small fishes aren't, the small bass are not affected by this rising barometer because their little bladders are real, real little and small. And so they don't get affected by it. Besides, there's so many in here, fish in here, uh, little ones that they just fight over this bait, you know, just to race towards it. So we're going to uh, just keep on moving out just a little bit and see what happens. I'm gonna just get out a little bit deeper. Here's a one. Oh, this is a little bit bigger one. See, you can catch a little bit bigger fish on this. It does work. You don't know what size you're gonna catch. Look at this, guys. See what I mean? You might catch three or four little ones, then all of a sudden, you know, you catch a, bi a bigger fish. So, so you know, um, I lost my worm, but not a giant, but it's a Bartlett Lake bass, and you guys are just out here for fun anyway. Most of you guys aren't tournament fishing, and you're just out here with your wife or kids on the weekend. So, 
Not too bad. I'm going to rig up with another bait and show you how this is done. A lot of fish. Oh. Almost. <laughs> There's a bunch of them right under the boat. That felt like a little bit bigger. There's about eight, five or six of them down there in the school. We're on. All right, so we're just taking this seat nice and easy. And you know, I just put a little jiggle to it and it kind of makes that worm kind of like that. Just like that. There's one right there. Now the bigger ones will just grab that, you know, and pull it. The little ones really slam it hard, but the big ones just grab it and swim with it. So not it. By bigger, I mean bigger than what I've been catching. <laughs> By all means, these are small fish, but you know what? They're fun. You know, if you can bring your wife out. I have a lot of guys that bring their wife and kids out here and grandkids. I take out a number of uh, guys and their kids fishing, so we have a good time doing this, lick shaking and stuff. So give it a try. Um, it works but all the time. Even in the rising barometer, this works. So thanks again for watching our shows. Uh, Greg and I really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the website. I send out a newsletter. It's getting ready to come out right now, you know, this week. So just hit subscribe, put your email in there. I'll send you a newsletter all about fishing and the barometer and everything, and plus some other things that are happening in the news. Thanks again.